I am Seema Khosla. I am the head designer and CEO of Ideas Modular Kitchens. This is a more than 20 year old company and we specialize in modular kitchens. We've also added modular other furniture in to our kitty, but but we our basic specialization is kitchens. I have been in touch with lots of uh, new in, interior designing students. When they reach out to us, they definitely have an intense knowledge about the uh, basic interior designing. But kitchen designing itself is a different is section in itself, which as a standard has been touched upon in their course. But this is far more detailed. Sometimes people do ask me that why did why do you want to start a course for kitchen designing itself since it is one single room in the entire home? But according me, kitchen is the heart of the entire home. Here, are multitude of activities at a given time with multitude of family members uh, are done. Hence, any small error or any small defect which is left at the time of designing becomes an eyesore for the entire life of. I have designed experience of more than 20 years and I have designed more than 1000 unique kitchens for different clients right from European people to South Indian people to Banyas to Jats and people of different ethnicity, nuclear families, joint families having different requirements. Hence, I consider myself to be an expert in customized designing. I've done some prestigious projects some of them like Malaysian High Commissioner where we did a huge kitchen where all the dignitaries were supposed to sit and have their meals together uh, uh, we have, we've also done uh, commercial kitchens where uh, cooking for more than 100 people is done at a certain time so the requirements there are absolutely different we've done kitchens for, for Jindal House we've done a kitchen in Orissa uh, I've done even one kitchen amazingly in Leh Ladakh um, to Bihar, to Orissa, kind of. So we've covered the entire Indian territory, so to say. One has gone to Nepal, one has gone to London as well. Uh, in the coming 40 minutes, I would like to just touch upon certain uh, details. We'll discuss a little about the functions of the kitchen. Uh, then the client's needs assessment form we have. So the clients need, 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 they need to be taken into consideration because this is very individualistic designing. We'll discuss the basic layout, and then I'll touch upon the questions. You have given me very interesting questions. I would like to answer some of them. With regard to the functions, kitchen is primarily considered a cooking zone. But apart from cooking or to help, to facilitate the cooking, there are a number of other activities which are also conducted in this room itself. They are are like storage, refrigeration, washing, the preparation area. And with nowadays, the kitchens opening up into the living area, open kitchens have come into vogue. So even serving areas or the entertainment part also sometimes falls into these open kitchens. Cooking area as a standard in small kitchens can, can just be a two feet hob and a cooktop or a cooktop and a chimney. Chimneys are a necessities nowadays with smaller households and less ventilation. Chimneys are a must because they take, up, take the fumes and all out of the home, making it more airy. Uh, cooking can be as elaborate as adding microwave, ovens, tapiangi plates, um, deep fryers. You can add inductions. So uh, there is no limit to the elaboration, elaborate cooking uh, mechanisms as well. This would again depend on the individualistic needs as well as the size of the kitchen, which, which will allow us to fit all these appliances. Storage, yes, definitely storage. Any amount of storage, people find it short. The storage is like, uh, number one is for the utensils, for the cooking utensils. Second is your confectionery, the pulses, the food articles which you store. Then comes your vegetable storage. Some vegetables like onion, tomatoes and all, we can store them in wicker baskets. We provide some space, a uh, separate space for them. Yes, utensil storage. Then your food article storage. Then comes your vegetable storage. Then the refrigeration storage. Uh, the refrigeration can just be a refrigerator with a freezer. There are separate freezers also which can be added. There are separate wine chillers or bar refrigerators which can be added in the further elaborate kitchens. 
Washing is also a very intricate part of the kitchen. Washing can in a small kitchen can be just a two feet sink, or in an elaborate kitchens we can add dishwashers. Washing area also constitutes of your uh, water purifiers, the UVs or the ROs which the family is planning to use. Your water geysers are also considered to part to be a part of the washing area. Nowadays, people are opening up to taking dishwashers as well. So uh, care needs to be taken. taken to design this area also in a precise manner sometimes if the kitchen size is a little big i i try to give a separate wet area where all these washing washing articles and the um, dishwasher the geysers and all can be taken outside into a balcony or a shaft area if the space or if the plan allows that and give just a veggie sink into the main kitchen this keeps the main kitchen very neat and tidy and all the clutter or and the water part is taken outside of the kitchen very near very nearby i'll show you certain other pictures even in this picture if you see uh, this is the water area which has been separated by a wall there was a pillar so we extended this a little to segregate the water area from the main kitchen so the main kitchen remains much more neat uh, then the preparation area is definitely required in small kitchens we try to leave at least 2 to 2 feet of space on both sides of the hob because indian cooking requires lots of chapati rolling and all you need space very near the hob on both sides of the hob so at least 2 to 2 feet is mandatory on both sides of the hob and fortunately if the kitchen space allows a lots of preparation area separately can also be given in case you be are planning an island or a peninsula so this preparation table can be taken on to the back side on to the island as well with more and more households opening to the mod uh, open kitchen concepts with the studio apartment looks coming into style open kitchens are when the kitchen one or two walls of the kitchen are missing and the kitchen becomes a part of the huge living area in itself so hence you can segregate the kitchen area by giving a serving counter uh, by giving a serving counter like in this picture also if you see this wall has been done away with and a serving counter has been added over here uh, the top has also been differentiated with a lumber uh. look this adds to the style as well as the serving part is also considered uh, sometimes there are uh, we consider the kitchens to be primary <coughs> kitchens as well as secondary kitchens in huge houses or farm houses <coughs> there are kitchens where the primary cooking is done and there is another kitchen which is called the serving kitchen or the entertaining kitchen where just the reheating and the serving part is done so hence that entertaining part also can, um, in entertainment is also done through the secondary kitchen uh since we are designing a very individualistic kitchen uh, one of the uh, main things is to uh, know the client's needs of the kitchen what do they want from the kitchen so we have an elaborate kitchen design form which 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 enumerates all the activities which the family is planning to do in the kitchen right from the family size the cuisines they are wanting they generally make their shopping habits uh, the people who would be working in the kitchen is it a primary or is it a secondary kitchen and a list of appliances which they want the kitchen to be fitted with again the appliances also state the existing appliances if the clients sometimes they use their existing refrigerators or water purifiers they want to reuse into the new kitchen or there is also a section which states the new appliance so if they are planning to buy a new appliance like microwave oven whichever they are comfortable with they it is enumerated on this form and then we the, uh, by at the time of designing these things are considered but uh, we need to act we need to know the needs of the client first a uh, nuclear family has different needs than a joint family so the number of people who would be cooking who would be in the kitchen at a certain so in case it's a nuclear family so we can give uh, water area and cooking area can be given close by because just one or two people are supposed to be working in a kitchen at a certain point of time but in case it's a joint family the cooking area the what 
sector area the storage and the preparation area need to be given at different places so that at a given moment three or four people are able to work comfortably in the kitchen without banging into each other so we need to know the family size with uh, with regard to the cuisines the height of our counter top also varies with the cuisines when we had done up a kitchen for the malaysian high commissioner they work with wok the cooks use wok and they uh, they are they uh, make noodles or fried rice all so the height of the counter top was taken way down so that the chef can peep into and work very well in, into the wok so the with regard to the cuisines we accordingly we would be adding the appliances also so we need to know the cuisines we had done a kitchen for an austrian lady she had had added she had taken two ovens because in their culture they have one oven for meats and the second oven is for desserts so you need to know the cuisine of the family so that you can design it accordingly shopping habits would define the amount of storage which the kitchen, which the kitchen requires a family which stacks up every can do with a small pantry itself but a family who are who buy confectionery and all once in a month would be requiring big pantries 3 feet or 4 feet pantries where the entire stock can be stocked up uh, in india we are fortunate to have staff and help the maids and, and the cooks so we need we definitely ask the clients that who would be running the kitchen who would be working in the kitchen more in case it is more servant run kitchen it needs they they were happy taking very high end internal fittings very delicate like spice areas they were happy taking shelf lights because cooking itself was an experience for them uh, we also need to define as i talked earlier whether it is a primary kitchen or a secondary kitchen primary kitchen is a heavy duty kitchen where we need to give large drawers where the maximum of the activities would be done secondary kitchens are just show kitchens where just the serving part is going so the serving cutlery the serving crockery that would go into the secondary kitchen secondary kitchen can also combine a bar unit along with it because that is more of an entertainment zone primary kitchen is like the more heavy duty where the entire preparation and cooking is supposed to happen when we ask the clients for their requirements we definitely give them a list of appliances the appliances list is also given in the course which we which is which we've already uploaded on udemy appliances again enumerate so that the client sets thinking oh whether do i need this do i need this and any new appliance or any existing appliance also they select which are further used when we are designing the individual perfect kitchen for them uh, there are many layouts which you can choose the layouts would primarily depend on the available space but if the clients are open to the idea and the infra the site is at the infrastructure stage right about now you can definitely do some changes and open up one wall or half wall like here the half wall has been removed and this this area has been turned into an intermediate zone this is a hop over zone between the uh, dining and the kitchen area so this adds a little lightness this this adds that design value also to the kitchen uh, this wall you see this is hiding the cooking part so that the clutter is not visible but a little uh, aesthetic aesthetically this part looks beautiful uh, there are different layouts which you can choose from this is a straight line kitchen in a straight line kitchen the three zones broadly your refrigeration the cooking and the water fall on a single line hence it is called one a straight line kitchen l shape kitchen l shape is the most commonly available commonly which we do because the generally in medium sized kitchen the third wall is occupied by the refrigerator this is an l shaped kitchen this part we have added we have extended it into the living area just to show how the in an open format the kitchen can also be extended into the living area making it a part of the living area itself in an l shaped kitchen again your uh, two walls two walls have cabinetry and the water area the cooking and the refrigeration are um, adjusted on these two l shaped walls uh, this is this is a u shaped kitchen in u shaped kitchen three walls are used again and the work triangles are arranged on all these three 
principles, care needs to be taken to give the deeper units like refrigerators or the pantries into the corners because if we give any deep unit in the middle, it would break our countertop and the smooth functioning would stop. So any deeper unit like your refrigerator, the pantry units, the appliances units, they need to be given on either corner. This is a G-shaped kitchen. G-shaped kitchen is like, it is again a U-shaped kitchen, primarily a U-shaped kitchen and three or four feet area is added. It can be added um, in less height or if it is a closed kitchen, so then there can be a door here and it would be a completely shaped kitchen. It looks a little claustrophobic and it requires at least a 12 feet by 12 feet space. Then only this G shape would function well. Otherwise, it would look, become very claustrophobic. I had some of your questions. How to design small space designs? Uh, it is a challenge to fit all the requirements of a client into a small space. What I generally recommend is take a small pantry. A pantry of just 450 mm width, it occupies only one and a half feet width of your countertop. And since the depth is full, depth is like two feet, it adds lots of volume to the kitchen. It takes away only one and a half feet of your work counter. It can be placed adjacent to the refrigerator. Wherever you are giving the refrigerator, along with that, add a one and a half or two feet complete tall unit. We call them pantry units. Sometimes... As a standard, people also keep a microwave oven onto their countertops. That takes away the counter space. What, we, what I generally suggest is convert that two feet area into a pantry, into a complete pantry and accommodate the microwave into it. So any way your countertop had been taken away by just placing the microwave over there, now you've added a huge volume of storage there. So pantry definitely serves the the purpose of a pantry and a, lot, a large amount of storage can go in there. Again, when you are designing small kitchens, sometimes there are kitchen windows which are opening into the shafts. The view is not actually too good, uh, but, it, but definitely we require the light and the ventilation. If you want to add more wall cabinets, so this you can close this window and our kitchens as a standard kitchens go up to seven feet height. So you, above seven feet, you can open up that entire area into a ventilator kind of a thing. You can increase the width up to seven feet, eight feet, however much the shaft area allows. So you would be getting the similar volume of that window for ventilation and light. And you can add cabinet over here. Uh, in case the window is having a pleasant view or, or, it, or you can have a look at the main door or main gate from there, then definitely the window needs to be kept. I've, I've just shared a design of a small kitchen. Like you can take the microwave instead of putting the microwave on the countertop, it can be taken in a wall hung manner or you can take it in as a complete pantry unit here. So where lots of storage can be added. In, the small, in a small kitchen, the work triangle also needs to be considered because um, it is, it, it need not be, it should not be very close by. Sometimes because the size of the kitchen is small, you tend to place the cooking, cooking over here, let us say, and the sink over here. So when the two people cannot stand together and work. So try make in a small size kitchens, try making the work triangle as far as possible so that there is ample movement space for people to work. Add more number of drawers into the smaller kitchens because drawers provide you more accessibility, uh, especially in the base cabinets. The, any objects which go into the low bottommost shelf become non-accessible. With drawers, they are easily accessible and they add to your construct base. Uh, in the wall cabinets, try giving flexible shelves. Shelves don't fix the shelves. They, the shelves go on shelf supports systems and just like your refrigerator shelves you can adjust them so give two shelves instead of one and give them adjustable so that if they have tiny mugs or tiny glasses so they can add more layers into that area hence providing you with more of space space uh, we have different uh, 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 different um, accessories like your spice areas like your cutlery trays these are small these are small uh, small accessories 
uh, which which functionally give you lots of space you can browse by cereals and cutlery trays so you'll you'll get to know more about and this is yes the window can be taken above 7 feet if if the space allows that um i also had a question with regard to how to treat the corners so this i am talking about the base corners the under counter uh, cabinets we call these corners this is a blind corner and the second one is an l shaped corner so in a blind corner the shutter opening is just the front part and the the or the cabinetry next cabinetry starts from here so this dead end is utilized from this shutter area optimum utilization of space is through shelf if you give shelf the area from edge to edge can be utilized for storage so maximum amount of storage can be kept though it becomes a little inaccessible to reach just to save that inaccessibility different internal fittings are prevalent nowadays like leemans like magic corners these the with, with the utilization of these uh, accessories the back portion comes out for you and the accessibility increases as a standard uh, when we are planning the kitchens and there are two corners in a kitchen i generally suggest the clients to take accessory in one corner which would provide you accessibility and take shelf or no shelf in the second corner because in indian cooking we sometimes have large utensils or sometimes nowadays um, uh, gas cylinders are becoming a little obsolete otherwise this corner used to be utilized to put the gas cylinders as well uh, the second corner is the l corner so here both these shutters open simultaneously and the corner space is entirely accessible to you here again you can take shelf or if you want to store sometimes people do have big boxes of rice or oils so you can uh, they cannot take any shelf here otherwise there are different accessories available like the corner crowsels which rotate so that the back part also comes out for you so you can also suggest accessories for this corner which would make the accessibility of this um, the corners also uh, easier similar shape is used for the wall corners also if you are turning the corners of the wall units similar shapes are utilized there as well uh, though no internal accessory goes into the wall cabinet because the depth of the wall cabinets is hardly 300 mm and you just you are able to place one single stack of utensils or articles so no accessory is available for this area but the shape would remain similar for the wall corners also uh, one of the questions was what color combinations should we take for the kitchens uh, color combination uh, there are no rules and regulations for colors because like designing is very individualistic so i generally tell that uh, tell my students that you just learn the rules first then you can break the rules and become more creative so generally people have a tendency that the small the smaller kitchens should be done in lighter colors so that the kitchen appears bigger because the lighter colors are receding colors uh, as far as my um, my preference goes i try to give the base cabinetry in a medium dark color because all the spillage and any splashes while mopping and all they they happen on to the base cabinetry so try giving the base cabinetry in a medium dark color and the wall cabinets can be done in white off white lighter tones the <laughs> i understand that some of you are having difficulties due to the i think due to the lag or the non connectivity of video i really apologize for that so uh, but i am taking the take, taking it ahead i think most of you for most of you i am audible so uh, the color combinations sometimes people do follow vastu also since kitchen is considered to be the fire element so all the fire colors the like the yellows orange reds they are preferred to be taken in the kitchen sometimes clients do follow vastu till the last detail uh, so and i have done kitchens where we had given the counter top as lakha red the entire kitchen was done cream and the counter top was taken as lakha red just because vastu says the top should be red um 
otherwise primarily nowadays we are uh, doing more of modern kitchens so modern kitchens can be done in single color tones or you can select two colors where the base color can be a little darker and the wall cabinet and tall cabinets can be taken in lighter colors you can add color with tiles with different glass shutters with counter tops with open boxes as well so for with regard to the color uh, sky is the limit you can take just a unique color kitchen and add just a second color with some open boxes or some artifacts or the same color can be echoed in the uh, highlighter tiles uh in the secondary kitchens or in case your kitchens are an open kitchen they are an extension of the living area then you know also opt for thematic kitchens you can pick up a theme it can be a modern theme it can be a marine theme an oriental theme which would which would echo right from the kitchen into the living area itself this theme can be echoed in your counter tops in the finish color you can pick up a raw rugged finish for the shutters in case you are planning a rugged interior uh, in case you are planning an oriental look you can take lots of open boxes into this kitchen and put artifacts of oriental theme so that the entire thing matches in itself uh, i had another quest question from your end with regard to the ergonomics of the kitchen a uh, kitchen is a place where you would be working or the client would be working for a long period of time so number one is the head space when you are working the counter space the counter is 2 feet deep and the wall cabinet is, is taken 1 foot deep so that you have that headroom when you are chopping when you are working uh, sometimes because clients want more and more storage and they do suggest that why don't we take the depth of the wall cabinet deeper so so that we have more storage but at no point of time do not give the wall cabinet more than 14 inches depth because it would, would hinder their working further down the line the height of the uh, the height cabinet's height as a standard are taken to be from 800 mm to 900 mm 900 mm is a european height for indians we generally take 800 mm from the floor as the standard height though if the space allows and you can provide a separate kneading area the kneading area is 6 inches lower than the regular height then only you are able to work the door properly the wall cabinet heights generally start from 4 and a half feet from the floor and they are as a standard we take them 2 feet height or 700 mm height in case some clients want additional storage the wall cabinets can be extended till the roof also you can give separate loft area but loft area generally goes only for occasional storage because this cannot be readily reachable the different internal accessories like the drawers the bottle pull outs and all they also help with the posture of the client because uh, it it is a little cumbersome to bend down and bend into a base cabinet to pull out the things so the internal accessories are a big help for that as well uh, we also try to give you pantry drawers which are at eye level and very easily the things can be sorted out and they can be organized in a very small art manner putting less less burden on your back um this is the last slide this is again one of the our projects which we had done here you can see there is a separate water area has been assigned a veggie sink just a tiny vegetable sink has been given onto this peninsula so that they don't need to rush for the cooking water inside into the water area and the color combination has been taken as twin color this is beige with white and brown glasses have been taken the third wall which is not visible had the entire tall units and the refrigerator part i hope i have answered some of the queries which you people had put and i thank you for the entire time which you people gave to me um i would be sending mailers to you where where the link is attached for the further course which is a more than 3 hours course where you can get to know to do the kitchen designing in much more details uh also my web address and my facebook page and all addresses would be shared with you on the facebook uh on your email ids i hope you enjoyed the session